Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. Alright, it is 8.40 in the morning. I've already had a busy day. It started very early, but my first meeting was at 7. So that one's already under my belt. I'm doing a quick huddle at 9 just to talk through a couple really quick things with some colleagues just so we're all on the same page. There's just some things we need to think through. But we're in a really good spot for today. I was working early this morning. I started working around 4.15 and I drafted a bunch of emails that I need for the week of January 4th when we come back to work. So I'm like already a little ahead of the game, which feels really nice. And yeah, we're just gonna keep trying to build a runway of things done so I can go into 2021 really prioritizing some balance and self-care and all of those things because it's gotten a little lost lately and i know that's true for so many of us working from home right now it is really hard to find that balance when work is inside your house non-stop all the time so that's our goal we're gonna do a lot of like work time today of just getting ahead of things this laundry has been sitting for two weeks and it still needs folded and taken up to my closet so you guys think i'm neat and tidy all the time not the case. I just had this piece of art delivered from Society6. It's going to go on this wall right here. I really like it. It vibes very well. I was struggling to find art that went with our wallpaper in here, but now I did. I guess another thing that really has to be on the to-do list today is to get that laundry under control. I might actually throw it in the dryer so that it fluffs back up get some of the wrinkles out before I fold it. Actually, I'll go do that now, right before this meeting, and then after this meeting, I can fold it all up. I'm kind of wrapping for the day because I have a Zoom holiday party tonight at 4.30, so I am making dinner for Steven. It's so basic, but I'm just doing chicken fajitas in the slow cooker. It's my favorite way to do them because I like how the vegetables all cook down and the flavors really have time. I'll just shred up that chicken when I get a chance, but I threw a couple lime slices in there and then I use a fajita simmer sauce that's in the taco section of the grocery store. Throw my peppers, onions, and then call it a day and it's easy peasy. So dinner is made and yeah, I think it's time to open some advent calendars. We got another house. Let me show you the setup. I'm kind of setting it up right here on this little table. I love it. Day 15 of Beekman 1802 is a fragrance-free cuticle cream, a conditioner to go with my shampoo. What else is really nice about some of these advent calendars? Products that I don't end up using, they make great guest room toiletries to like put in a little basket. That's how I use them often. Pour some sugar on me. Look how cute that is. Gummy Christmas trees. I literally have eaten none of my Sugarfina snacks for like the last week. Day 15. We got a really cute present. Advent calendars are in a good spot. I think I'm gonna enjoy my cookie. I have to be on the Zoom at 4.30, so I have like an hour, and I'm pretty ahead of work because I started so early this morning and just got so much done. It was a really productive day, so I'm gonna enjoy my cookie. It is a little after 5.30, the holiday party is over, and I thought I would show you the planner I'm ordering for to at least start 2021. I change my planners often. I came across this one called Ink Vault. I could not decide what I wanted, and I found this one and I really liked it. I really, really, really wanted this color, this goldenrod, and it's sold out. So I settled for the spruce because I thought the dark green was really nice. I hope it's as dark green as it appears. I like that they had a walkthrough on their website, so let me show you the things that I liked about it. So it has like that normal yearly spread, that's fine. I really like this bringing the year into focus and the 21 theme and vision. I also really like the prompts in here. I feel like some of them get really repetitive and 
like schmaltzy. These are really concrete and I like that about it. There's a really nice timeline for the year around goals, which I thought was cool. I've never seen a timeline featured like this and I just thought it was a neat idea and something fun to work within. The monthly spread looks pretty great. It's simple, it's clean. Another thing that I was really looking for this year in a planner, I didn't want a lot of color, I didn't want tabs. I like the monthly goal breakdown. I also really thought this 31 day challenge was neat and interesting and not something I typically have seen. Like that you have a monthly vision board or brain dump and then there's a weekly reflection and goal setting as well. And then I'm not the biggest fan of the weekly spread, but I think I can totally make it work. So it is divided by day across the top and then morning, noon, and night. So I think I can make it work with a little configuration. And then I do like this idea of like achievements and a year reflection at the end. I just was pretty pleased with it. So this is the one we are going to try or at least start with. And it's a new one that maybe not all of us have heard of. I just wish that color would have been available. And then because it's so boring, I'll show you what else I picked up. Then to jazz up the cover, I went to Anya Heinmark and bought the two and the one stickers to put on the cover just to make it a little cuter. These stickers are outrageously overpriced. They're made out of leather. They're really nice. I put them on a lot of my notebooks. I've done like my initials, but I thought the 21 was something different. And I also thought these colors would look really sharp on that spruce green. So that will be my planner for 20... 21, at least to start. Now we are going to go eat dinner. Steven might actually already be eating, but I wanted to share my planner with you because a lot of you have been asking what planner I'm going to use for 2021. That's the one at least I'm gonna start with and give it a try. I like to switch up my planners. I was going to invest in a Smithson. I still might, I'm just not sure. I am excited to try this one though. Do you wanna do your calendar? It's up here, do you wanna do it? Do you know what day it is? Yes, it's day 15. Ooh, another red one. Do you want it? Do you want it? Yay, day 15. A couple of you commented that he would normally take his cookie to a rug, but he loves this one so much, I think that he like eats it right on the spot. In other big exciting news, Steven is just coming in from an excursion. I mean, it's a big time Tuesday night here in the house. What did you just do? Take out the trash. That's normally my job. <laughs> How many times have I taken out the trash? No, remember when you go away on a trip, you sometimes have to tell me to take out the trash. And this is why our marriage works. Never take out the trash. No. Ever. Ever. Unless I have to tell you. And then, we'll and then what do I usually say? When you try to remind me of like a household task. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I know what to do. What was the best part of your day? We have to do the uh, gratitude. So what was your day like today? It was fine. It's just. <laughs> He's excited for Christmas. He awesome. loves Christmas. It was just another pandemic work day. People miss you not opening your tea. Oh, well, we can do that. It's been a long time. Six. This is. Wait, we've not opened it since the six. No, we have, but I think we skipped. Wait. Gingerbread blondie. <gasps> You're not blonde. You're I did when I was in the '80s when I got a dye job. A bleach job. Vanilla cappuccino. Oh, I love vanilla. Yeah, not as Thank much you. as the, the blondie. All right. Is it 13 already? One way or another, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna, salted, I'm singing blondie. Salted caramel, salted caramel oolong. Was that a blondie song? Yes, it was. Bubba's, you know blondie? Yes. yes. The 80s were roommates. Me and Stevie Nicks. 11, you and Stevie Nicks. First you beat Katerina Witt yesterday in the 1984 Stereo Olympics and now you're roommates with Stevie Nicks? Yes. 
We go way back. We like some peasant skirts and some fringe. And some chiffon. All right. Uh, and we like to give a twirl. Candy cane crush. Okay. Ugh. 14 is snow day. That was today. Well, it was sort of snow, but yeah. not really. It snowed, it just didn't accumulate. And then 15. Organic common chamomile. Oh, here you go. He needs that. No, that's you. No, that's you. Do you want to do some gratitudes? That's it. 16 is tomorrow. You're all caught oh, up. No, 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 no. We forgot 12. 12. Just peachy. Oh. <laughs> he gives that his approval. That was your favorite one? A little bit. All right. How Stevie Nicks? Uh, witchy. We will end our day as we end all of them with our gratitudes. What's your gratitude? The Bubba's and I took a long, socially distanced walk today. Mine is, I'm grateful for you taking out the garbage every day for all these years. Alrighty friends, another low-key Vlogmas day, but we have a countdown. I'm almost on vacation and <laughs> real Vlogmas can happen. No, but thank you. These are just working from home kind of days and that's what life is. It's not all fancy and fun. I'm Some working, days are just days. I'm working from the office tomorrow and the next day. Just... Hopefully that's when all the packages get delivered. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All right, I'm going to end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, my friends, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>